When I arrived here in the Queen City a couple days back, my expectations were admittedly low. And if you're a student of history, it's easy to understand why. It's hard to argue with the numbers. Prior to this season, the Browns were 1-21 and 1 in opening games since their return in 1999. For many, many reasons, when it comes to season debuts, Cleveland has been remarkably consistent over the years and not in a good way. Despite that dark history, many, many Browns fans showed the heck up at the bank yesterday. In fact, throughout the day, it sounded like we outnumbered the Panther fans at times. And what we all experienced wasn't what you would call traditionally pretty football. This was a game defined by grueling run plays and defensive lapses and decided by special teams. No major surprises on offense. Jacoby Brissett played exactly like Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield played precisely like Baker Mayfield. And as we all watched our third quarter lead slip away, a familiar sense of resignation swept throughout my fellow Browns fans. This wasn't defeatism, mind you, but realism. Baker orchestrating a late game comeback against the team that jilted him felt pretty on brand for we Browns fans. Almost inevitable, really. So when Cade York, a.k.a. St. Cade, managed to hit a field goal from about a quarter mile away, thereby securing Cleveland its first opening day win since Outcast's Hey Ya was on the charts, One, two, three. my fellow Browns travelers were predictably excited. As for the Baker storyline, Panthers fans got a pretty good example of what it's like to have him at the helm. It's good, it's bad, it's rarely boring, and despite your best efforts, you have a hard time not rooting for the guy. Just ask some fans of his former team. Baker Mayfield, though, analysis. Like him? Who? No, exactly. Who? 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 Uh, do you feel better now? Yes. Okay. But you don't wish him ill will. No, 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 no. All the luck in the world as soon as this game is over. Yeah, just, just take this show on the road. I love Baker, but he gave me the Baker X. Uh -huh. I feel sad that we don't have him, but the way he was playing today, I'm glad we got rid of him. Of course, the casual observer might say, so the Browns won an ugly game against a bad team. What's the big deal? And the answer, of course, is that traditionally we would lose that ugly game against a bad team. I prefer this. Everything's relative, and that's what made yesterday's victory meaningful to long-suffering Browns fans. In fact, I think it's time we adjust that graphic. That's called progress, folks. This is Mike Polk, reporting from the scene where the Cade York era began for three news. <laughs>